Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're at in the world. This is a live stream with a live audience. If you watch the recording, you're going to want to fast forward about 10, 15 minutes. I give time for my friends to get in and we chit chat a little bit and say hello. And for some reason, my camera is out of sync and it still looks crooked. If you are coming in the room, do give me a thumbs up. And if you're watching the recording, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you're lurking, that's fine. You can come out of the shadows to say hello. I like to say hello to everybody. Do say, pop into the chat and say hello to everyone. And we have some people coming in. I see six people up there in the clouds. Hi, Orla. Hello, Lana. That's a new name. Welcome. That's okay. We love our lurkers, too. Hi, Pookie. Love to everyone. We don't bite our lurkers. We love, we love all our lurkers and our non-lurkers, too. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream, honey. Oh, well, thank you. It's good to have you in the crowd now instead of just lurking. <laughs> Hi, Deb. Hi, Kunawin. My voice is going to be going in and out. Um, that's, uh, I'm dealing with a, with a cold, and then I went out to dinner and then um, went to, uh, with Dave yesterday and then went to his house after dinner for a couple hours. And then, so, you know, I've been dealing with this cold now again from my grandbabies. So my voice is deciding to uh, go in and out. I woke up this morning like, oh, I shouldn't have went out yesterday. <laughs> seven minutes in this weather, seven minutes. And I sound like this. That's all it took. And then today I had to go to the eye doctor. So my eyes are completely dilated. Hi, Terry. So, um, yeah, my vision isn't the greatest at the moment, but I can see. <laughs> so I'm just, a, I'm just a little bit of hot mess. But I figure I can still see. I can still somewhat talk. And I don't feel, you know completely oh, I just I'm like I got it I'm gonna go online and I'm just gonna go on I'm just gonna go on with the show the show must go on hi Gail <laughs> yeah I got a cold I'm dealing with my my normal problems <laughs> I'm losing my voice and I can't see <laughs> I had to go to my uh I my for my annual eye eye exam and they dilate your eye your eyes um because I have to have special testing done because of the medication I'm on. So, <laughs> so I can't see the greatest. <laughs> uh, hi, Faith. How are you? Hon? Love to everyone. Let's see who else we got coming in. Hi, Braddy. <laughs> uh, hi, Lane, honey. Yeah, yeah, I sound like crap. <laughs> but I'm here. The show must go on. <laughs> Yeah, and I have to because uh, they have to go in and they have to see. I have to have all kinds of special testing done because the medications I'm on, um, it can make me go blind, one of them. So they have to look at every angle and inside my retina and behind my retina and uh, all that. They have to look at every angle of my eye inside and out. So in order to do that, they have to put this one solution in. Um, yeah, they have, they put this one solution in, uh, so they can look at the pressure and then, you know, and you do all the normal eye testing. Then you go back to the room and they put the solution in so they can do the pressure. And then you go and you have pictures taken. that are like x-rays. And then you got to go and do this field vision test where you got to blink every time you see a light or press the button every time you see a light. Then you go back and you get your eyes dilated. And then they do 
a couple other things. And then the, the then <laughs> yeah. and then the doctor comes in and your eyes are dilated and then they've got the bright lights and he wants to open your eyes up this big <laughs> to see all the way back in there. <laughs> and your eyes are already like huge because your pupils are so dilated, like you have no color left around your eye. The only thing that's there is basically your pupil. That's huge by now because they dilated your eyes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's my day. <laughs> but, you know, hi, Tori, honey. Cheers, everyone. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> But thank God I only have to do it annually so far. They find something, then I'm going to have to go every six months. Um, but so far, it's just annually. But I got a good report. All is good. All is well. No problems. So I passed the test. <laughs> So how's everybody else's day? Yeah, Dar, that happens often. That that I get often. And and one of my illnesses, one of my um autoimmune is um I don't know if you guys have heard of it, Sjogren's, um, and you deal with dry eyes, dry throat, because it, de it, deals, with, it deals with your uh, dry nose, and basically your bodily, your body fluids um, dry up. So I get uh, infections quite often, very painful in my eyes, yeah. And then when I got a cold, so it's like my nose gets dry, and I get... You can get sores in your nose and sores in your mouth and yeah, all of that. So I I know what you're going through, girlfriend. Go know what you're going through. Yep. Hi Tara, how are you, honey? Have not seen you in the live show in a while. How are you doing? Oh, Tori, what's the matter, honey? What's wrong? Thank you, Tara. Love to everyone coming in. Make sure you hit those thumbs up. Let's see those hitchhikers, girls and boys. <laughs> Love to you too, honey. <laughs> <coughs> Let me grab a cough drop before I kill myself. Yeah, we're gonna go through another few weeks of this crazy. Me sounding like total shit. <clears throat> oh, just what? Come on. Tell your tell your US sister what's going on. I got your back. Let's go. Tell me all about it. I mean, if it's too personal, you can, you don't have to tell me. But if you want, if you, if you got some ranting to do or some bitching to do, or you just want to crab to your fibbies because we care and we can relate, we're here. We're here to listen. <laughs> well, actually, Mondays, yeah, because Mondays are my bitch days. <laughs> Mondays, I hate Mondays. Just for those of you who don't know already, Mondays, I don't like Mondays. But Mondays are my and more impromptu days. It's not my regularly scheduled program. Okay. Big hugs to you. Sending love across the miles. And I hope you get a break soon, okay? 
love, love, love to Tori. Everybody send a hug to Tori. She's over in Ireland. Hi, Susan. Right, Arla? Yeah, that's that's good advice. Yeah. How are you doing, Faith? What's new on the horizon? What you got going on over there, girlfriend? Anybody working on any big projects that I don't know about? Okay, Braddy. Uh, Terry, I'm looking, uh, Terry, I'm looking, I remember my own most days. All right, Faith is going to be listening in the background, so I have to make sure that I keep her entertained. We'll give it another the, the, the other four minutes. Wait for some more peeps to come in. I understand. That's quite all right. The fact is you're here and you listen. That's all. Hey. I hear you, Susan. I hear you. Ooh, a vintage bamboo stick journal. Interesting. Yeah, I hear you, Susan. I um, it uh, it was a big wake up call. Um, a reality for me. A reality check for sure. Um, when I when I realized and had to accept, um, I'm working from home now, but I've always been very um, hyperactive, very on the go. You know, single mom, working two jobs. You know, I even did the two jobs, uh, school full time. You know, single mom bit, and. Um, you know, but I've always been ill since I was 16, but I got, I found out how sick I was uh, quite a few years ago. And then um, how, how um, really took, um, took a lot of, of uh, acknowledgement um, and coming out of denial on my part about 10 years ago and acceptance about how sick I really was and how, I needed to um, take a reality check and, and slow down. And um, as much as I I want to be that person I was, I can't be. Um, my my body won't my body won't cooperate. Number one, and as much as I try, it just makes me sicker. Um, so. Yeah, I, I've, I've had to learn and I've had to train myself and accept those times that I can't, I can't do it all like I used to. I can't be that person I used to be. And it's hard. It's hard. You know, people without chronic illness don't know, uh, really, really, it's really hard for them to understand um, you know, if I wasn't that, that go ho kind of person, if I was, if I was always a laid back kind of person, it wouldn't have been such a big transition. Um, but I, I wasn't, 
I was always on the go, 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 you know. Um, so it took a lot for me to to accept that. Absolutely. We'll give it another minute. Hi, Dottie. Love to everyone coming in that I haven't given love to yet. We'll give it one more minute. Yeah, um, it's been one thing after another, Tara. Um, I, I ran the gambit, let's put it that way, um, without saying, you know, too much. Um, but it started, you know, with... Um, female issues, you know, and just this, that, and the other progressed. I've, I've, I went through back surgery. I, you know, and it's just been one thing after another over the years. Um, and I, I think part of it was that none of the doctors over the years really took uh, a great interest in a really you know, is you know this doctor for that, this doctor for that, this doctor for that. Um, you know, it. I didn't have a group for care. You know, I didn't have those doctors take an interest in. You know, why? Why am I having so many different you know issues? Um, until there started to be so many um, that kind of correlate with each other, right? So, um, and then in 2000 and, well, let's see, 2007 really was when it, it really started um, with the major stuff. And then I had back surgery in 2011. And then um, uh, something else, some other things came up and then Three, three years ago, after being so, so very sick um, and continuing to work uh, full time and, you know, continuing to do do it all um, and, and staying, uh, you know, on the go, on the go, on the go, but still being sick as all get out. Um, I said, some, you know, I, ca I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore. And, um, so I went to, um, I went to a specialist and now I have, I have a, I have, uh, I not only have a primary, but I have a group of doctors now and, um, they're all affiliated for the most part, they all talk to each other. And a lot of them are affiliated with the same health network. Um, couple, my, my rheumatologist is outside that network, but they can talk, you know, they're all in the same area where I live, number one, so I don't have to travel very far. Um, but all the other doctors, uh, with the exception of my rheumatologist and my eye doctor, all the other doctors that I need are, are with the same um, care network. Um, but long story short, three and a half years ago, um, four years ago now, it's 2020, I said, okay, enough's enough. And so I, 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 I took control and I started with one doctor and I, I said this, this, and this, and this, um, which was my gynecologist. And we, you know, it just, I, I, I took control basically. And I, and, and I, it kind of just started the ball rolling. And if I hadn't have done that, I, I don't know where I would be today because we found out how, how very sick I am. And after all the testing and thank God I have medical insurance because I don't know where I would be right now without my medication. Um, I, I don't know, you know, it's just, yeah, it's, um, and to be quite honest, you know, 
my numbers haven't been good in the, uh, the past year. Um, they've spiked. So um, when I go back next month, um, they're going to do a, another round, the, the normal blood test. When I go for blood testing, they have to take like, um, I don't know, umpteen million vials of blood. And um, they got to do, because in, in addition to some of the lesser uh, autoimmune, I have um, RA and I have something called scleroderma. And it's right up there with lupus and MS. And okay. so, and along with the Sjogren's and the medications I take, um, you know, they have to watch my numbers. And, you know, we, I don't know what my neck, what's coming around the corner. Because the last, when I went, when I came back home in June, and I reset up my same doctor that I had here and they did my testing um, and they found out that my numbers had spiked um, and I called them because um, they sent me a letter because um, supposedly they couldn't get a hold of me. Um, but long story short, they called me and they told me my numbers had spiked um, and um, they're, I'm like, well, what are we going to do? And, you know, I'd like, do we need to change medications? Well, no, there's, there's no other med, you know, because there's no cure for, for what ails me <laughs> to, be, <laughs> to put it on the more lighter, lighter side of things, you know, but, um, so we're going to have to talk, man, you know, health management when I go back and, um, they're, they're talking, you know, regular, um, um, you know, shots and, you know, that's, that's the next progression. There is nothing else. There's no other, you know, uh, it's, it's with, with autoimmunes, for those of you who don't know, it's, it's all about management. There is no cure for us. It's all about management, pain management, health management. Um, you know, it's all about dietary management. Um, you know, so, that's really what it boils down to, you know, and um, yeah, so it's, it's scary. It's not like, you know, you can go to the doctor and said, well, we'll give you an antibiotic and make it better. You know, it doesn't work like that. Um, you know, and even with, um, you know, they've made great strides. Um and like the cure for cancers and um, the cures for this and that, that they didn't have years ago. So yeah, the cure is right around the corner, but you know, I, it's, it's, it's like, I wish I even had a slightest bit of hope right now, right now. I wish I had hope, you know, Yeah. Anyway, enough of that going into a sob story for tw 10 minutes. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my thing is, is as long as they can keep me, like right now I have mobility issues already and I already have issues with um, like, you know, going out of the house because of the weather, you know, whether it's hot or cold, blah, blah. Um, as, as long as whatever the care maintenance and management is, as long as it keeps me to where I can sit at that desk and work every Monday through Friday, um, and it doesn't make me dog sick like I am some days and have to take time off. And, and you know, I, I can't, as long as I don't have to risk my job and I can still sit at that desk and work, I don't care what they do to me. You know what I mean? I, I need to stay working. Um, if not, you know, it's not, you know, optimum, you know, 
way of living, but it's, it's, it, you know, I, I would love to get, you know, I would love to get my art to work for me, but you know, that's a long ways out, you know, if, if ever, you know, so they are. Hi, Nana. <laughs> and hi, Joy. And anybody else I may have missed. And all those in the clouds. Love to everyone. And we're moving on from my crazy... Oh, you guys already know too much now. <laughs> so, who wants to guess what I got from Amsterdam? Who wants to guess? What I got from Amsterdam. I'll show you the package. Out showing you the label. Inks? No. The package is hmm, maybe inch and a half. Let's see. Let's see. I can't. So in its height. It's about an inch and a half, right? Is it legal? <laughs> you, you, you naughty people. No, it's very legal. Um, it's not contraband. <laughs> and it is, um, I'd say about a foot and a half long. So an inch and a half deep, a foot and a half long. And a foot wide. It's art related. So whoever guesses it gets. No. Whoever gets it gets the giveaway. How about that? I have a little something to give away. No. 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 <gasps> Dottie, you cheeky girl. <laughs> is it Lena? No. <laughs> if Lena was here, she would be on camera right now. I would be too excited. <laughs> no, Dottie got it. It is a book. <sighs> Actually, it's more than a book. Um, and I... Because I'm going to have to send this to you, Dottie, I'm going to finally uh, be able to ship you <laughs> my <laughs> nasty, well, you love them. Not a book, several books. Um, I'm going to send you the giveaway, and I'm going to send you my... Uh, those crayon things that you, that you like, the, you know, Pepper Castell gelatos. So here is the giveaway because I got two. <laughs> it's already open. I already took it out of the box. So all, of, all of them are sitting over here. So I got two of these. Hand lettering and coloring. Daphne's diary. Unless she has this already and would like to choose another individual. Do you have this already, uh, Dorothy? I've been wanting to get Daphne's diary forever. And if I and if I, I like it as much as I've already been seeing, okay. Um, this is my copy, so we're gonna look at this. Um, then 
Um, oh, look at, oh, look at that. See, let me bring it into, okay, this is Dottie's copy. Let me put a post-it note on here. So I'm going to center this. That over there. Here, put that up over there. All right. So then let me bring it this way. You guys can see. So this is hand lettering and coloring. Uh, it's just the, the, and this book is not very, very big. It doesn't have very many pa uh, pages in it. Color that in, slap it on a page, yeah. See, like stuff like this, if I didn't like something over here, which I would, I would probably uh, use this as background paper, but if I didn't like over here, I could use this as just, you know, uh, background paper, you know. See, like here, like I don't know if I would necessarily do anything with this, but I could use this as some um, collage paper. I like the frame, so I might have to cut that out. Use that as background paper. Yeah. Draw, draw it yourself and add a nice quote. And then they have little circles with little, um, little thingies on them. Oh, look at the tags. Those are cute. We'd have to cut those out, slap them on a page. Like they're like a tag um, and then they're like bookmark tags. Pretty. That's cute. I would just put that on a page just as it is. And then like if you, you could write on here, like, yeah. Again, a nice, just a nice collage paper, just the way it is. Cut these out and put, use them as collage. Oh, look at the other fence. So that's cute. Yes, hand lettering and color book. So that's cute. So those of you that were at Dee Dee's, like this was like last week, not this week, but I think last week or late, you know, Dee Dee streams a few times a week. So I don't remember now, but I think it was last week. She showed, but I am this, the paper pocket, right? Am I too close? Um, she showed the pa this paper pocket, and it's it is jammed full of goodies, right? Now she, I think, paid thirty, yeah, thirty four ninety nine at Barnes and Nobles. Well, I've been wanting Daphne's diary for a long time, so I went on their site and I got this for twenty two dollars and some change, and. A whole bunch of or it, well and all four of these all for like it was like forty five dollars and then shipping um was a few bucks so which we're gonna quickly look through all of these too now these were on sale because these are older versions so like this one is number one from 2017 but look at how pretty that is right like you can go you go through their website which I knew, like, if you go onto their website, a lot of the book, especially the, the magazine ones, you'll go on there and you can get older um, subscriptions. This one is number five from 2018, right? And this one is, hold on. Again, my eyes are not the greatest today because they're all dilated and crazy. 
Oh, this is the first one. This is, oh, this is the January. Um, so in addition to this that came out for January 2020, I also got the January for 2020. So this is this month's. Um, and so I know, right? So I figure if I really, because I've always wanted it, I, I just love their covers, just all their pretty yummy goodness. If I really, really end up liking it as much as I think I will, then I'm going to invest in getting a subscription. But if you go onto their site, you can see all their, like this one was $5.99. So even though it's an older version, like just the eye candy in there alone is worth six bucks, right? So keep that in mind, people. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to quickly just kind of jam through um, some of these. I'm not going to go page by page, but um, the following Daphne's diary will appear. Oh. oh, this one will appear on June 6th, packed with creative inspiration. So on this one, which was March of 2018, this, uh, this is what the, was going to be in the June of 2018. So they give you an outlook of what's coming. Yeah, so but look at there's watercolor flowers you can cut out. Look at all these pretty flowers. Look at leaves. Oh, my goodness. Collage fodder the galore for sure. Slap that on a journal page. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just just cut out this tree. I mean, even if you just, I mean, just, if you want to do reverse collage, you could take this and make it part of reverse collage. Ooh, the butterfly whistler. See, and then they give you extra little bits. And I, I think I noticed, too, oh, look, at you can cut out the flowers. Um, I think it, um, oh, look at the girl. There is in each one of these, too. The lady in the frame. That's cool. Um, oh, this is a punch. This is a this is a, a doohickey thing. You know. Um, um, you know. But I think where is it? I got recipes on here. Um. Yep, here. In each one of their books, they have one of these. They're like little um, journal books. And you'll see them in each one of their books. So you can use this as collage or writing into to give you or, or journal inspiration, right? Um, yeah, so, so much inspiration. Um, and it does. it's not just art related, too. Like, you know, they give you recipes and gardening stuff and home home stuff, right? But, I mean, you can make that. Uh, look at the ballerina stuff. These are just can't get enough labels. Use them for gifts. My diary and even as a bookmark. So these are peel-off things. What more flowers you can cut out talks about each one of them so even if you wanted to, to keep the the writing with the flower you could do that and then do some doodling or some extra drawing and watercoloring in your journal yeah lots of but this is this stickers yeah these are stickers it's a sticky page oh yeah these are totally these are total stickers. <laughs> yeah, now I will tell you, let's see, I, I ordered this. It didn't really take too long. I mean, Amster, I mean, it did have to travel far. And oh look at that. The butterflies. I mean, you know, Amsterdam's not like, you know, the next, you know, few states over. So it did have to take a few days to get here. I think it took like um, I think it's been like a week and a day or so look look at look at that pretty page um so it took you know like a week a little over a little over a week to get here um 
because I ordered it the same day that uh, Dee Dee did her stream. So it was either last Monday or last Wednesday, whatever that was. Um, I went online. I was online while she was talking about the the pack on her stream, and I pre I ordered these really quick and um, pressed the button all at the same time. Hi, fairy. Um, so this one is the November, no, a number one of 2017. So, oh, look at that. That's some pretty stuff right there. And diff oh, look at that. Oh, and different pages within their magazines feel different. extra papers uh, this the the paper pocket this one no fairy i don't know um art journey if this is what you mean elaine otherwise let me know which one you're talking about honey Look at all these collage papers. Yes, as far as I know, looks like the same one Dee Dee had. It's uh, Flora and Fauna. Paper pocket Flora and Fauna. I don't think they've ever had that before. Um, um. Oh, look at this. If you buy. Oh, this is back in 2017. I can remember this is an old issue. Look, collage paper. There's pop out. Um, oh, see now that's kind of bogus because I like both sides. You guys know how I am about my writing. Look, I'd be torn which side to use. I like both sides. <sighs> Recipes. Here's the diary in this one. This one has the months and the days. So this is more like a, 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 a calendar than a diary. But it's cute. I would use it as collage paper for sure. Especially this background. Loving that. Of course, I can make that, but still loving it. Yeah, all these, all these magazines are going to be devoured. And um, I'm going to see about getting more of the older issues because I wouldn't mind you know here's some more stickers um, you know spending 50 60 bucks and getting a whole bunch of older issues um, and spending you know 20 something dollars for shipping just to get a whole bunch of look at rasps um, oh look at the owls oh those are, we might have to we're going to do so we're going to do something with these maybe tonight if we get to it um i'm hoping to get the what i want to do today is get the journal cover made for the next um art journal that we're going to work in um and then maybe do a page in it um yeah definitely wouldn't mind um you know getting a whole bunch of magazines at a great price spending a few bucks in shipping um, when they're well worth it you know what i mean um yeah i'm definitely gonna have to order some more i'm liking it i'm like oh look at all those cute little boxes those are so cute
I know, they're so cute. Some school, uh, like if you have kids, so you got some things you can do, you know, some stuff you can work with kids on. Um, something here, oh, more um, punch out, uh, punch out things. More recipes. Where's oh? There's the oh, that's cute. Dream journal. This oh, this one's strict. This one has more for writing. But again, I would tear it up and use it for collage fodder for sure. And again, this is this the older version. Yeah, this one is. Uh, no, this is January of this year. DIY interior vintage garden recipe trips and mindfulness that they focused on for this one. Yeah, that's a big selling point, Tara. Theirs is not. The little bit of ads that they have is related to um, stuff, you know, like the recipes or, you know, but it's really not. Um, I mean, you can, I mean, you could just cut off this little bit or tear off this little bit and that, you know, so much of this could be a fork, a spoon, can become collage fodder, even though it's non, you know, it's, it's just eye candy. They just, and what's up here? Oh, what's this? We've got something in here. What is this? Oh, oh, something, something special here, guys. Something special. This is, this is this year's. So, uh oh, oh, look, it's a full calendar. It's a, well, it's like got every month and then it's got the, the days of the month. So I don't know. So you can just write on it. It's just for notes, I guess. But look at all the prettiness on there. It's all kinds of prettiness. Collage fodder. Yep, journal pages. <laughs> Oh, so here, birthday kit. Oh, that's what it is. Be the right birthdays on. Yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, collage fodder. <laughs> oh, chop it up. That's right, Dar. Chop that baby up. <laughs> I, I don't have that many people that I need to worry about birthdays for. Although, I am, as I get more and more followers, I probably have almost enough maybe to fill one year or for, well, have one for every day. Maybe. I don't know. I only have like, I don't know. Here's more stickers. So even the stickers can be used on a journal page. You know, you could use the box, you know, cut out the box and put it on a journal page. I mean, some, oh, I mean, looks, I mean, anything. So much of this stuff is just eye candy for sure. I mean, you know, yep, 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 I can see it, I can see it happening right now, so many pages, been, oh, I'm going to have, I'm going to have to go oh, on the 7th and put in an order for uh, the subscription and then order a whole bunch of older ones, so that's that, let's take a look at, um, I know Dee Dee showed this, so I won't I won't bore you guys to death with. Um, but maybe you got some of you haven't seen it. Some of you may not know Dee Dee. Uh, Dee Dee Willingham here on uh, <laughs> right. Uh, Deb, where's the scissors? Um, even this envelope. This envelope might become a journal cover. Um, so yeah, so you get a flower drawing book. Place for you to draw flowers in. Well, it's getting cut up. Um, little notepad. This map belongs to. This map belongs to me to cut all this up. That's oh, this is a nice little folder though. Eh, it's still gonna get. I don't know. It's kind of thick for me. Um, can I? Get my glasses off. I wonder if I can peel it. Uh oh, I can peel it. Uh oh, collage fodder. Yep, 
this is peelable, people. Peelable. Right there. Yeah. I see collage. I see breaking this down. See, they even show the scissors. Time to cut this baby up. Yep. Yep. Here's another one. Yeah. Well, this is just one sheet, but yep, I'm gonna send these babies down and use them. Use them. Yep. I can see it. I can see it. Another one pager. These are just a whole bunch of hot air balloons, but these are cute. But again, I would use this, you know, to take the, the, the bird and make a collage. Um, focal point. Yep. Look, here's some more, more things that you can do out, slap it on a page. Yep. yep. Lots of things to cut out. I don't know. This, this uh, I don't know. Maybe this. I'm pretty sure this is. Oh, look at all the birdies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same one that, that Dee Dee got, but maybe not. I'm not upset about it. Look at all those pretty, their pretty little birds I can use. And flowers. I think this is the same one, but what do I know? Cactuses. These feel these are are these stickers. I can't tell. I'm not, my eyes are not really all that one. Look at uh, these are, yeah, these are all sticker sheets, I can tell, because yeah, this gets cut up, too. Just some, it's some fauna. It's not flora, it's fauna. More stuff to cut up. I'll use that side. Really doesn't want to stay where it's supposed to stay. What is wrong with you? A lot of these, yeah, you know, it'll be all this will be collage, every stinking bit of it. This is pretty paper. Oh boy, that is loud. That's very loud. Right? I much prefer this side. It's it's much not so loud. Because even in my eyes are not that great, but that's loud right now. Whew. And I love you all, those of you that really like loud pages, but that's too loud for me. I'm not that. I have a loud voice. I, this is, that was loud. These are not stickers. These are just little squares, I think. Just, yeah. Collage. All of this is collage. Oh, look at I got a little box. Ha <laughs> ha! I got a little boxes. Yes, these this has got to be the same one that Didi got. I could swear I remember the boxes. Look at that one. That's pretty. Boxes. We've got three boxes. More paper. Oh, look at the oh look at look at look at look at. Yeah, because here's Colleen got the same one. And look, and here's the the um, flamingos that she made a page out of for for Eileen. So this is the same one. Look at the birdie. Yeah, there is so much stuff. Oh, look at the pretty flowers. Yeah, there is so much goodness in here. Yep.
I wonder how often they're going to put out these, um, if these are going to be just one time a year on these Daphne, um, these um, paper pockets, or if they're going to be more times throughout the year. Oh, here's a smaller coloring book inside there. You get a lot in this packet for the, now the normal price is $34.99, but you do get a lot in there and it's more, use you get more use out of it maybe i wouldn't say necessarily more use but you get more defined art use out of this or more collage use out of this stuff than maybe you might get out of the actual magazine hi daddy my devs my bff um there's a lot of different collage fodder and stuff in here then you get it out of the actual magazine if, um, you know, more specific things. I'm going to be cutting it all up, uh, each and every bit of it. Oh, stickers. Monkey and a sloth. Yep, this is the same one. Oh, oh I hope these peel. Now, these are postcards. And again, my eyes are completely useless kind of right now but i think i can get it yep i can peel that baby if you didn't know if you have thick paper and you don't like working with thick paper see if you can peel it most paper has a couple different layers in there and um it's easy a lot of times to peel it so it's, it'll be easier to work with so these will be peeled um and used for collage yeah so that's that and where's that uh, folder uh, we'll put all of it here put all of this i well, guess not all of this so all of this go back in here all right now we're going to get messy and play with some magicals, maybe. Um, let me find a place to put these safe. Okay. Oh. So my thought is, so, you know, I, um, we used up, we, we surf, we've gone through the last journal that I, uh, that we started a couple months ago now. I did the last page the other day. Um, it only has a couple blank pages, but it, it can't be uh, worked in anymore. So, um, because of the dimensional pages I have in there. So, it's getting retired. So, I got everything set, all the pages, but I want to make the cover. And I'm going to use brown, brown paper for the initial layer. And then I'm going to adhere paper on top of it. Um, but before we guys do that, I'm going to make the paper that's going to go on top of it. So my thought is, for those of you that were here the other day, and since I can't really see, oh. You go back over there. Um, really love to use this, but I don't have anything to go with it. This is going to have to be a special. I'm going to have to put that in, in the vault. Actually, I think I am going to put that in the vault. Um, because I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, and I just absolutely love it. And I don't have that stencil, and Judy didn't send me more than one piece. Um, so, go I don't have another piece to go with that one, but, uh, yeah, I don't. Um, but those of you who are here the other day might remember I did this. This is the rice paper, the thicker rice paper, and you can see some of the, um, it looks like fabric now. 
we added the magicals and because the way that I do jelly printing with magicals, um, it's, it feels like fabric. I, I like this, but I don't want to use these colors of, as my journal cover. I want to use some different colors. So we're going to make some paper today with that kind of paper. And then, so that's what we're going to start with. Drink a coffee. Take my eyeballs off for a minute. Oh, again, I forgot I didn't put these back in the right cases, so I got to find the colors that I want to use. Y'all are being quiet today. Now, y'all eating? That's okay if you are. I'm okay with you eating. Tainted love to you. That looks more blue. Yeah, I think I want that one. And then... Okay, more of these. Definitely don't want those. I don't know about that one yet. Green, hmm, maybe this one. I don't know. Okay, frolic in the forest green, maybe Tiffany Lou's blue. No, I already got too much blue going on over there. Silent Night Silver. Oh, maybe that's what I want. Street Shimmer. What that's all about. I don't know. Mission Bells Brown. No. No. Ow. Rudolph Snow's red. <laughs> okay. No purple. Can that be real? No purple? What's wrong with me? I must be sick. Okay. Mm 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let's make a mess, shall we? Who's up for a mess? Let me get out some stencils. And some paper. Oh, I need to swatch them? Yeah, I still haven't swatched them. I figure I'll just be surprised. I mean, teal can't be bad no matter what color it's in, right? So, and, you know, this is teal, but it's a dark blue. Like, hi, my dudes. Um, I mean, so, and steampunk sepia, I know what that's going to do for me. So, the rest is just, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I do need to swatch them because, I, you know, I have the other 40-something, 40 45 colors. <laughs> I, I really do need to sit down and take some time and, and swatch them. So, um, now, it does really good if I give it. I use stencils that have medium to large impressions, right? Let me see which one gets better impressions. Well, the smaller one did too. Let me see. Let me take my glasses off. Let's see better. Yeah, oh, actually, all of them did really well. I want to see something too. Hold up. Hold that thought a minute. Let's see. I have to. White or black? It doesn't matter. Let's see what what happens when I try to put brown on it. Out. Oh yeah, I can. Ha! Ah, I can bring out that texture, ladies and gentlemen. Without coloring the whole damn thing, I can. Colorize the raised texture. Let me put my eyebrows on. See? See how it looks? How, uh, I mean, I used brown, but um, I mean, look at that. Raised texture. By jelly printing. Okay, Gail. Yeah. So, that's what we're going to do here. And it does do, it does do the small, a small, uh, things too so but I guess it wouldn't do really tiny I don't think that's small it wouldn't do really tiny like that one no so it'll do small like this one's kind of nice kind of like that one I like that one too but these are all my no. Nope. No. No. You know what? Let me look at these first. What do I have over here first. Oh. I do I haven't used that one yet. These are all my Oh, that would be kind of nice. Oh, I can't wait. I gotta order. I'm ordering some tonight. I swear to God, I gotta make a decision on on a stencil holder. Oh, 
because this will drive me freaking insane. What is wrong with you? Thank you. Jesus. Lord have mercy. Yeah, it drives me batty. I can't, I can't, I don't know how people can, I don't know how people can just, uh, want, uh, yeah. Can let their stencils just do that. Like, it drives me crazy. I can't, yeah, I just, I just can't function that way. I'm already dysfunctional enough as it is, let alone wanting my, my craft to be dysfunctional. Are you kidding me? Um, try one with bigger openings using one color, then different smaller scale and additional colors. Um, well, this, um, this one has biggish openings. Um, otherwise, some, all, the only ones that I have that are bigger. Um, well, these are letters. This has kind of big openings too. I have these circles too, but. Um, I don't know who that is, but I can't talk to them right now. I gotta take my glasses off. Hold on, I gotta finish looking. My eyeballs are all. I'm just getting out like a first run of stencils. Like I'm not putting these away or nothing. So I mean, magical goes fast. So I mean, not as fast as um, acrylic paint, obviously, but um, all right, we'll keep these more towards the top because these are the ones that got the bigger openings. Smaller, smaller, smaller. No, got <laughs> Little guy know, knows now when I call for his daddy, he can't come in. <laughs> oh, poor little guy. Life is rough when you're three. It was you what? Wait, I'm missing, I'm missing eyes. Okay. Um. I don't normally have mine in Tara. Most of my stencils, I keep them in the packages they come in, but these are stencil girl. These don't come um, in a package. They come just like this. So I've been looking at, um, and I keep all my other ones in a binder in, um, in stencil or a, a page protectors. I just haven't invested in, in for this group yet. 
Um, circles with work patterns. Yeah, okay. Um, it was me. Sorry, I didn't realize you had. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. That's okay, honey. You can text me. I just, like, whoever that is, I can't talk to you right now. I will talk to you in just a minute. <laughs> just not right now. Um, okay, so let me just, I'm going to, we're going to have a couple of these going. Uh, see, this, this, this right here drives me bonkers. Okay. But I got to get, oh, I don't want this one. Trying to get this one and this one and this one and this one in the order that I want to pull them. So I don't have to look for them. Okay. But this one and this one. You see how easily they get tangled up? Okay. All right. This goes quick. Close away. We've got paper. Okay, and that paper. Oh, I need. So, oh, do I not have any? Oh, you're kidding. Oh, uh, shite. Well, I guess I'll use one of these. It's not going to be, not going to soak up too much, but it's better than let me go. I'll just use paper towel to soak up the extras. Okay. Paper. Do that. Okay. So I will do this one, this one. And I'm using magicals. Um, where is um? Yeah, this will allow me to. Um, we're making papers for the next journal cover. This over there. Yeah, magical mess. That's what we're going to call this magical mess. All right, so where's my. Oh. Uh, some water. Hi, Yolan. No, what did Debbie buy? Debbie, what did you buy? Oh, 
up. That's good. No, that's good. Um, time travel teal and tainted love teal so far. Oh, yeah, I heard, I just heard you guys talking about that. I seen that on Twitter earlier. That doesn't surprise me. Go for it. Have at it. Oh wait, this is um, this one. This one's going over here, going over here. This one's going over here. And this one's going over here. And then let me put this over here. Now, question: Are those going to be uh, life ash or permanent or what? We don't know, we don't care, or what? What's the dealio? Don't really care. <laughs> We'll go with that. That's what we're going with. Okay. Oh, and then um, Screaming Banshee Black and Silver or Silent Night Silver. Okay. Yeah, but, um, okay. Right, Tori, the names are just so funny. <laughs> Hi, CB. But see, I do two for one, unlike my friend Colleen. See, I'm doing it. I'm doing a, a, pr a pr print. A pr pr print. Make a clock paper. See? I'm I'm jelly printing, man. Woman. Yes, Colleen. The fibs are talking bad about us. And I don't like it. They make a fun of us because we like to use too much product. Okay, gonna set that one over there to dry. Next. I'm gonna let that one bake over there a minute. Okay. I need to make more room because yeah, I'm not gonna have enough for to keep keep the keep the the train moving over here. While I keep it moving while I'm working. Hi, Kimmy. 
right to the moon, Alice. Cheers, everyone. Love you all. Next. Bear with me one second. You know, because I don't have any space here. So I've got to make room. So to keep this train rolling, give me a second. This goes up there. That means to go out to Dottie in the mail. I gotta get out the rest of the fibsy pages. Okay, so this one's going to dry over here. Well, we'll keep this keep this moving. Moving, moving, moving. Okay. Oh, and just so y'all know, those of you who came in late, my eyes are very dilated right now. So I'm really not um while I can see. Not seeing the greatest at the moment. Just so you know. Now, in this one, we're going to use Steampunk Sepia, Shabby Turbine, Turbine Teal, Steel Shimmer, and Frolic of the Forest Green. Okay, I'm glad you approve. I know, Tori. I, I'm with you, girlfriend. I'm with you. With you. I'm with you. Okay. So we wet our page. Just enough to get it a little bit wet. Okay. We'll put down our crazy stencil. I do love stencil girl stencils, I'm just saying. Okay. Spray it some more. And see, uh, uh, CB, I'm using uh, the handy dandy little whisker brush, fan brush. So I'm really not putting down a whole lot. I mean, really. Oh, well, that was a lot. Don't tell CB. was a lot. Welcome back, Braddy. Now, will I make mud? Probably. Maybe. Right. 
Then piece of paper. It needs more sepias and more teal. Just saying. A mess, magicals. Eileen made me do it. sit and bake a minute. All right. Oh. Now. Now we're going to switch your roux a little bit. We need to mix up. Okay. We're going to do more sepia and time to have a teal and and i think this i like i like this um i like this frog to look for a screen okay Thank you, um, Yolan. Yeah, stencil girl. I did a huge um, haul. Um, I'm not sure if you were here. Um, I will be getting the rest of my stencil girl hopefully next month um, of the 9 by 12 because I've already ordered all the small ones that I wanted. Um, so I just need to get the rest of the... Uh, nine by twelves now.
you know, I wonder if I put a, a, a layer of matte medium after this paper on this paper after it dries, if it'll really get that um, that fabric feel before I do. No, if I do the inking, well, no, I'm gonna put it down with matte medium. Hmm. Okay, Tara, have a good night, hon. Um, yeah, because I'm going to be putting it down with matte medium, so. Still going to go with the inking at first. Ooh, maybe we'll, ooh, I just got a really good idea. I think I'm going to put some embossing powder on it. Read the instructions on the shakers about alcohol. Oh, hold on. Okay. I have a shaker. Hold on. Let me just, let's just read what this, oh, if I can even read it at the moment. Let me just try. I only have a couple shakers, but let's just see what it says. It says, okay, to use shake on paper and spritz with water or lift lid and paint with water or alcohol. Add or also add to art mediums. Tons more info. Yeah, I, uh, okay. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, y'all, this is what I do for my peeps. Did I move the camera at all? Just make sure. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Ugh. Yeah, now my eyes are all blue. Because of you, Eileen. But yeah, but uh, there's two there's two things. One, Eileen, she's talk Debbie's talking about the Yupo paper. The Yupo paper's too slick. For the shimmer, that's what Debbie's talking about. So while the alcohol will work with the shimmer on normal paper, it won't work with the shimmer on um, Yupo paper. That's the difference. Debbie's a shimmer girl, Eileen. Debbie is a shimmer girl, just saying. Need more of this? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes, more. <laughs> well, alcohol usually tends to make things permanent. Was Eileen, uh, was uh, Janet, what was paper was Janet using and what paper was uh, Colleen using? Mm -hmm. 
gotta remember I'm doing two pieces of paper at once, people. Getting a positive and a negative with this. Y'all don't know how this works. Well, actually, some of you do. You've seen me do some of you have seen me do this. <laughs> Alcohol should make it permanent. I get the shimmer to stick. Well, uh, I, and I don't even use alcohol. Set this over here. Okay. Uh, one more. And think. Yeah. What the hell? This looks good. All right. One more. And then whatever I got tonight is whatever I'm going to collage with. Don't care. It's just a journal cover, right? Right? Glad you all agreed. Well, yeah, that's true. You're not supposed to spray alcohol. Um, okay. One more. One more for the go. Um, I think just the teals. I think... Well, no, we got enough teal. Maybe... Maybe back up on the tails. Actually, this one, this one, and, and this one. Right? No. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's, yeah, let's do this one. Let's do, let's, yeah, let's just do this one. Whatever is what it is. Um, cloth like rice paper. We will get there, Debbie. Don't worry. We're not, we're not at the coral or the, or the copper yet, but we're going to get there. That's next. That's next phase. These are all twisted on there. Okay. Mm, you know what? I probably won't even need this one. I just really want some good dark in here. They need to make where you can buy magicals uh, ad hoc, you know? Like, Without having to buy the whole set again. That's what they need to do. Some of these colors I really, really like. 
You know, when I run out, I'm going to have to cry until I run. I'm going to have to buy another whole thing of that one whole set again. Not that that's a terrible thing, but, you know, just say it. All right. That's enough of the magicals for now. Actually, yeah, that's just enough of the magicals. Right over there. I'll finish that up. Well, paper, about paper. And then, um, we're going to use, um, yep, um, where is it? Where are you? Of course, I can't read. It would be helpful if I could read right now. Be the best one on there. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that one. Okay. Then, where's my steam tool? Where is my steam tool? Uh. Can you really? Seriously? Oh, well. You learn something new every day, CB. Thank you for enabling. You are just fabulous. Just fabulous, I tell you. Ain't that about a kick in the pants? Where did I put the... I put my stuff stencils. Oh. 
up here is where I put you. Yes, away from the children. sure about what you're speaking ma'am don't get me all excited yeah hi mama go ahead and dry this one give it one good One good firm press. I gotta replace that. Um. Um. Piece of tape in the middle of my table because now it's starting to melt. It's melted because of all my embossing, and <laughs> now I don't have any. I can't get a flat. Um, uh, flat uh, on the table. Now we dry. Order it from Seth site. That's what I'm using. Teo Sunset. That's what I'm going to be using tonight. Order it directly from the site. I do, Eileen. What are you thinking, my friend? Of course I do. I was the one that got Colleen turned on to him. Try some on the papers you just made before I dry them. Okay. Um, well, I have spray. Do you want me to just use my spray or do you want me to use the actual crystals? Because this isn't permanent. So when I go, to, I would have to fix it before I go to break a pair, tear up the paper and adhere it down. Either way, I mean, and I can fix these as soon as they're, they're dry. Okay. And, and you want me just to rub the crystals on there? Or you want me to sprinkle it? on there and then spray it with water how are you thinking about making a mess because i'm game either way you know what the hell okay Oh, that was a lot. Don't tell CB. I mean, that was a lot in one spot. Don't tell CB. Okay. Where's my spray? Where's Joycey? She's missing the mud. Oh, 
OCP. <laughs> Hi, Joni. Hi, Lucy. When you shake them off, save them. Okay. Well, I'll just shake them off onto the next paper. You'll, you've missed the, uh, well, you'll have to go back um, and um, now do we just want to let, let them sit there and um, vegetate for a little while or should I dry it now? Well, remember this is the underside so when i flip it you're not going to you're going to see a lesser version of it this is the back side of the paper Well, that was my plan. I have to get a whole bunch of bottles. I, I mentioned that like, um, I don't know, three weeks ago that I was going to uh, attempt to make my own version of the Lindy's um, moon shadow uh, spray with some of my walnut crystals and some of my um, FW inks. I just, I, I haven't uh, purchased um, any more um, spray bottles yet. And actually, all the crystals have dissolved. Yeah, most of it's dissolved already. I love walnut crystals.
You still have them, Eileen? You should do something with them. Kind of purdy. Look at it, it's got wrinkles in it too. But look at that. That's gonna be pretty. I'm gonna lay this over there to dry by itself. Back to drying this. Very, very interesting. Night, Tori.
Yeah, very pretty. Some of it's sparkly, some of it's flat. And I don't know, did I use a mix? No, all of these were shimmers. But this is the side that you're we're gonna that'll be on the front side for the collaging. So see the brown is lighter on the front side. This side is darker because it had um number one is the top side, but it also had more darker colors on this one. Because there was uh the cleanup side. But it's still like fabric. That's not good. You got a mix of um, you. Rever, you really have a mess. <laughs> what new magicals? Am I missing something? Hi, Rain. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna let these set these aside and let them dry for a minute while we work on the next one. Not this one, actually. This was the last one. This was just dry a little bit more on its own. Okay, this is the next one in line. Joni. Okay, we're going to kind of let those dry over here a second by themselves. Um, oh, are they out on Amazon yet or no? Can you link those, Debbie? Because then I'll order those too. I'm going to put lesser crystals this time on this one. Okay. Yeah, if you could tweet me those or, or just type the link, the names of the links, that would be great. These are magicals. I don't have the infusions yet, guys. I'm, I got those in my cart. I'm ready to press the button as soon as I can. So they will be in my studio within a couple weeks, hopefully. Um, yeah. So I got, a, I got one set of magicals in Amazon. I'll go into Lindy's and I'll order those two new sets of magicals. I'll have those. Um, yeah. And then I'll get the infusions. I've got, an, I've got another set order coming. Um, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not too much after there in Boston Potters. I have other stuff I got to get in the studio first um for us i know um patty and um joan are going to be having their release soon 
So that's on the menu. Um, yeah. Yeah, the, the, these are the teals, and the and the uh, all of these are teals. The teals I use today are um, time travel teal, um, which looks very teal. Um, this one, and then um, painted love teal, which is more of a blue teal, and this one, which is a uh, shabby turbine teal, which is more of a lighter green teal Oh, good. Yeah, you'll like those, Debbie. Um, yeah, you'll definitely like those. This is the under paper. So it's nice, light, and transparent. Put the color names on the vials. Oh, what I do? Uh, uh, here's a trick. If you slightly, and this is for anything, um, anything that's tape or sticky, if you slightly heat it just a little bit, you can peel it. So what I do is, is I slightly heat each top and I peel off the label and then I stick it to my vials. So I keep the original color um, label on each one and I just affix it to the vial. Smart, eh? I'll do two with the, the crystals and the other two I'll do without. I want to get this cover made today.
nice. Yeah, this is coming out very nice. Very, very nice. You can see all the different indents there. Dry. Get out the next one here. This one, no crystals. We're just going to dry it. And it'll dry faster because I'm not re wetting it. Even the under paper is pretty. What rest paper? I'm not sure the rest paper you're talking about, honey. talking about the other day yeah no if it's really rusted by metals you don't have to seal it when you go to matte medium it on to a book or whatever then it'll um yeah it'll it'll get sealed that way look at that prettiness Oh, yeah. This 
is really light. I don't know if this one will make it into the collage, but maybe. I have to feel those um, walnut ink ones. I think because it's on the under part, um, That's pretty. dry all the way around. Go 
really fast now. Thanks, Mama. Well, that's because um, I was kind of silly, Debbie, in that I um, I didn't use the sponge or or um, something to put it down with. I kind of just sprayed, but I wanted it that way. If I had used a sponge or one of my new um, brush tools, it would have been more. Uh, it would have been precise. Or even if I had gone so far as to use my pixie spray on the stencil first and then use water, it would have been an exact, um, an exact, uh, precise, um, yeah. Yeah, this, I love this, uh, rice paper only to, for this purpose to make, it makes it feel like cloth. Including cat paws. <laughs> I assume you know from experience. <laughs> this definitely, um, let me hold this up. So this definitely looks and feels like fabric now. Um, yeah, right over here. See how the design is um, raised because of the stencil and with this paper. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, and, and this paper definitely has got a, a clap like, like, uh, like feel. Um, so all the stencil is raised, very pretty. Oh, wow, Debbie. She likes you better. Yeah. <laughs> definitely get see the different designs in this I love that and then if you wanted um, like I showed earlier with the raised texture you can take an ink pad if you wanted to and um, highlight the texture once it's dry um, yeah for those of you who came in late I did that on my one I did yes on the ones I did the other day and you can bring out the texture see that this is that paper, too, once it's dry. And I just took an ink pad and lightly rubbed over it. And you just bring out that design. Now, Yolan. So, yeah. And 
And Tay Tay this. Oh, yeah. Don't upset my Tay Tay. Well, I'm gonna first. I'm gonna put. We're gonna put some embossing. Um, because we're gonna bring in some orange to uh, brighten up, brighten up the. It's an orangey copper, so we're gonna put that. Um, yeah. Actually, why am I drying these all the way? Silly me. Speaking of water, which ones do I want to use now? Um, I definitely think I want to use this one. Before I dry these all the way, I think I like that one. That'll bring in some brightness. I think I want to. I think I'm gonna leave that one out. Definitely, I'm definitely thinking this one, this one, this one, and this one. I already have one of those. That can go over there and dry. That can go there and dry. And dry. I don't know. Five, five should be enough. Um, so it's the uh, raised, or yeah. Let's just see. Uh, this one. Let me. I'll dry this one. But let's um before I. These are, these are still kind of damp a little bit. Let's put some, let's put some, let's, um, yeah. Now, <laughs> right, Eileen? <laughs> hmm. Now, these are going to be broken up. They're not going to be in whole form. So it doesn't matter where I put um, the. And again, I don't care if they're. Um, I need some water in here. Yeah, thick rice paper, Mama. So it's not thin rice paper; it's thicker. So it's more like um, it's it's more cloth like. Let me. I'm gonna. I don't want that much water, but I want to see how well this is gonna look. Let's just see, shall we? to stick there but I don't want it to stick there it's fine oh that's perfect perfect hold on I will show it to you guys um.
good, 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 very good. I'm just going to shake this one out here. We're just going to add some flame. Actually, I think I kind of want to do that. Ha! Make this one. We're just going to do this one this way. Okay? Oh, it's too dry. Damn it! Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, back in the bottle you go. Are you too dry or no? Maybe you're not too dry. Why are you? Yeah, you're too dry. Darn it, it's too dry. Oh well, okay. It's not gonna work like I want it, but that's okay. Oh, I messed that one up. Mm, that's okay. It's not going to work how I wanted it to work. because It's just too wet everywhere. All right. Never mind. I'm going to have to use the embossing glue. Darn it all to hell. Okay. Thought it was going to be slick. It will melt on water, yes. Um, but I wanted it to, I wanted to stick with water and not have to, that's okay. That is okay. I will just do it this way. I've gotten it to do a perfect, um, this needs to be totally dry paper to do it the way I wanted to do it, but that's okay. We'll just do it the, just back to the drawing board. Because it's still uh, slightly damp and not completely dry. Um, yeah. Why, what's wrong with Canada, Eileen? Yes, I am just making a mess. Oh my goodness. Seriously? All right. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could. Let me get out one of these papers. It's dry.
Okay. All right, where's my glue? Where's my brush? This is dry enough now. I might have to come back to this page. We shall see. I think I have to dry it first. One moment, please. Where's the cap? Doesn't matter if it's ripped because I'm going to be ripping it up anyway. Oh, so here's the name of the rice paper that I'm using. And you can get it on Amazon. I'm going to wait to do the embossing after I get it dried on there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it after or before. I think I'll take away the, um, because this is shiny, I think I'm, if I put matte medium, medium over it, I'm going to take away the shiny. I think I will emboss after I get it on the, after I adhere it. So let's just press on, okay, for now. I have no room. Oh my God, look at my desk. I have got to, Eileen, all your fault. I finished trying <sighs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. No, Joni, she's the she's the mess maker. She's the reason why we make a mess. And we love her for it. She's also the one who enables us the most. And we also love her for it. 
<laughs> Our wallets don't so much. <laughs> Right. Debbie, yeah, hashtag it's all Eileen's fault. I wish I had feel a vision. You guys could feel how much like cloth this uh, feels with all this embossing on there. Or not even embossing. Uh, yeah, just because the stencil gives it like an embossing texture. She has help. She has her own hashtag for sure. She got new type of paper. Oh yeah, she got that. Um, what did you call that? The the, uh, yeah. I know which paper. I don't remember what it's called, but I know which paper you're talking about. Spy paper, that's it. See how lovely the walnut crystals give that nice vintagey coffee stain, you know. And once it all dries up, I mean, you can't create that. Love it. Honest. <laughs> Put that over there. Get out our substrate. Get up here. Get this away. Right. Good enough. Good enough to start gluing. Hmm. Do I want to cut these ends? So this is our book. Am I going to get two? Well, maybe. Let's stretch it. Could possibly get two. And if I do that one that way, 
I might be put them this way. Ooh. No, that's too tight. Oh gosh, if I do it this way. I could get two books out of this paper. start adhering because you know I'll figure out the dimensions later I'm not going to cut it I'm going to just glue just going to glue I've got enough paper to open up a paper mill Where's my matte medium? And I need my brush. Well, I will turn off, cut off this piece. I can keep that as that in there. Yeah, this is the top. over here. Oh boy, it'll be 44. Whoo, get out the bikinis, girls. It's going to be 44.
Oh, actually, I should put that over there to cover that rip, right? I don't care if it's ripped on the inside. I know what I'm going to do to solve that problem. Oh, Judy, I hope I hope it goes well, honey. Not like the last time. Lord knows. Nope. Please go there. Yeah, I know, honey. That's why I said. Hi, Jamie Edge. Blue on my jar. You can't have that now. Well, Jamie, if you're willing to get it rid of any of that napkin itch, you know where to go.
Oh, I don't want to color up that orange. I need some orange on there. Right? I need some orange on there. And good thing I made extra paper, y'all. Because when you start overlapping it, it becomes smaller. Just saying. You lose paper. Yeah, Ollie at the gate. Has to be straight, but I might as well make it come to the edge of the paper, right? Oh, his sisters are picking on him, and he is not happy. At least it's not in here, and it's out there. Oh, now Daddy's getting mad. Now Daddy is getting mad. Run away. <laughs> you hear that? Why you gotta mess with them? Run away! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I'm not a peer. I'm not a, a young parent anymore. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's coming along. I like. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Trying to mix up the papers a little bit. I'm trying to get two covers out of this. Um, so I don't have to. Then we'll, we'll dry it. We'll put some embossing on it. We'll put some fill in the we'll put fill in the spaces maybe with some black or something. Um, you know, fix it up. I only, for my matte medium, I only use golden. For my gels and my gessos and um, that, I will use golden, um, but I prefer Finnebear. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, my my studio it's a mix of golden and and Finnebear products. It's too small. Oh, 
look at that nice brown paper right there. I don't know where it's going to land on the book, but it's pretty. Yes, any of the art basic by uh, by Finnevere Prima. No, I'm not a product snob. I just know what works. Um, yeah, for what I do. Right, Elaine. See, I, you know, for what I do, I, you know. You got to start with a good foundation. I just firmly believe that um, everything else is secondary. I'm not a product snob. There's, I mean, you know, you guys see me. I, I play with all kinds of crap. Um, but when it comes to my gessos and my my mediums, mediums, yes, I am. I am. I yeah. I wholeheartedly endorse um, Finn and Golden. Sorry, that's what it is. Yes, you did, Debbie. Yes, we did. We did forget. It's all right. Yeah, these would have been pretty, but that's okay. I know the colors I use, so I could always make more, but that, yeah, that would have been best to take pictures before I wrap them up. Although I am going to get a picture of when I uh, done gluing it all down because it kind of looks sea-ish. Do you know? I have not ever used tar gel. Yeah, it looks marvelous too. Yeah, that's that's a good uh, good way to. Uh, yeah, it looks. Um, I don't know. It looks. It looks awesome. I love it. I'm loving it. Um, I gotta move this way, guys. Sorry. <laughs> We've got more real estate to cover. Um, night, Dottie. You're welcome, honey. I'll try to get I'll get it in the mail in February, um, along with the gelatos that you you like, um, because I know you'll use them. Um.
Runaway product. Runaway product. Hi, Laura. Try to fill any big gaps I may have. I don't mind little gaps, but um, The base is just, um, yeah, brown crafting paper from um, a delivery. I think it was, was it an Amazon delivery or something? Um, I don't know. I keep, when I, yeah, I think it was an Amazon delivery. Oh, wow, look at that. I guess I should have tore up more paper. We're going to cover it. I don't care. We're going to bring in more. Let's see which one will match better. Mm. Oh, that one's kind of, that one will kind of blend in. I mean, I use all the same color, so really, I could bring in these two and be okay with it. I think maybe this one and this one. Mm, yeah, whatever. Maybe this one and this one. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I think this one and this one. Let me dry these two really quick. They need to do a little bit more drying. Just so... I'm 
they're not like sopping wet. So I can tear them into pieces. Eat cheese, Louise. I'm gonna drive over there, and I can now because I'm literally like 20, 20 minutes away and beat her butt. I'm just saying. See, paper shrinks when you rip it up. I'm just saying. Because technically, I had eight 11 by 8s or eight and a half by 11s would have would have definitely covered this little brown piece of paper. Oh, this was not dry enough to tear. Right, Debbie? Shoot. How dare she not eat all day? It does. When you tear it up, it shrinks. Now, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna have enough or not. Yeah.
Thank you, Lane. Yeah, there's four dogs in this house. And the two bigger ones pull shit off counters and shit. And then Loki and uh, gets in there. And then so you got two big dogs and Loki. And Loki's, he's a little dog, but he's the alpha dog. So when the other ones try to get in Loki's way... And naturally, now there's four dogs in the house. He does not, um, he doesn't like anybody near him when he eats. And the other ones usually leave him alone. But when they pull food off the countertop and then they get in his face, he's not going to be very nice. He doesn't bite anybody or anything like that. And he doesn't like attack dogs. But when they get up in his face, yeah. He doesn't like that. <laughs> so mama had to go break up the, <laughs> yeah, had to go break it up. <laughs> And what's funny is, is he likes the dog that usually gets up in his face. They get along fine. They sleep together on my bed at night. It, it's only when it comes to the food and the, and the other one gets in his face. So he doesn't like that. And he knows they've lived together for how long? Like, seriously. <sighs> Drives me crazy. And he doesn't bother him when he goes to eat because, like, if Loki's eating, like, out of their food bowl and and the, the other one goes, the older, the bigger other dog goes in there and he goes near Loki, all Loki has to do is just uh, do the, the baby growl and the other one just walks away. Like, oh, he's eating. I'm out of here. <laughs> but it's only when they pull, like, if there's something dropped on the floor that they're all trying to go after. You know, or they pull food off the countertop because somebody's left it there and then they're fighting over it. Yeah, that's not going to go very well when you've got four dogs trying for that one little morsel of food that the kids have dropped on the floor. <laughs> okay, do I what do I have over here? I need some I'm gonna have to rip up some lighter paper. Bring in some more oranges and Brighten this up over here.
Giggs is here. Where's Joycey? I don't see. I didn't see her come in. Joycey, you here? Speak up, honey. Look, we got, we got, you missed them. You missed some of the moose poop I made today. I was thinking, I was mentioning you earlier. I'm like, Joycey's missing it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at some of the pretty, pretty stuff I got going on. And I used, I used our, our, um, Eileen had me use our, our, um, our walnut crystals and everything. How was um you had pet uh Pettibon today, right? Is that is that right? Oh, boat show. Oh, okay. How was the boat show? You go back tomorrow. Yeah. You're eating dinner. Okay. Oh my God, this, this looks so much better in the camera. I mean, it looks good in person too, but it looks beautiful in the camera too. It just looks good no matter where you look at it. And I'm not tooting my own horn, guys. I'm just saying it does look pretty. I wonder if I could zoom out anymore. I don't know if I'm all the way at my max. Maybe I'm not. Uh, yeah, I can, I can zoom out more. You guys can really see it this way a little bit you guys are missing what i'm doing but i'll show it but at least you guys can get a more full picture Thanks, CBs. Thanks, guys. Let's see. Down to, let's see if I have any places I need to fill in. This is the fill in spot. Oops. Come back here. Come back here. No. Back over here. Okay. Got a little bit over there. Let's put this one. That's a fill in spot. Glad I made as much paper as I did. Shoot. 
I was thinking I made too much paper. I got one left that I didn't use. Like, seriously? Night, Debbie. little bit put the, the sliver over here the sliver over here okay I need a spot for there Cover both big enough. Yeah, whatever. You're big enough. Um, any more gaps? Oh, we need something over there. Okay. You think, Deb? Oh, 90 Lane, hon, thanks for coming. Yeah, it's very pretty. I wish I had just torn it all up, though, not knowing that I needed more. Because um, then I, I would have integrated it, you know, not so dark on this side. Like, I would have, you know, would have been more integrated all, all the way around. you live and learn right okay all right let's get rid of those little bits now we're gonna dry let me just let me just kind of give this let me just just because um, I want to make sure it's got enough sauce on it. Now we're going to coat the pizza. Coat the pizza.
there. No glue burgers. We don't want that on our pizza. Now we dry and then we'll put on some places of orange with um, with the um, embossing powder. Okay. I'm gonna get some of the glue off my look at my hand. Look at my hands, Eileen. No, I haven't seen her tonight, Joycey.
dry enough that. Yeah. I think I can put the vegetables down on it now. Good enough. Oh, who'd you get Happy Meal from? Are you talking about the one that I sent you? Netherlands, it's, uh, it's probably Melda. <laughs> yeah, actually, funny story, I can actually write with my left hand. Um, I actually started up until first grade, I could write with my left hand. I'm actually ambidextrous, but my first first grade teacher did not like lefties, so she made me write with my right. And naturally, little known fact, I failed first grade because my handwriting was uh, was poor. And so um, I had to repeat the first grade. Um, and yeah, Judy's right. I paint with both hands too. I'm not worried about the drying on the back side for now. It's pretty dry over there. Right now, I just want it dry enough where I can put embossing on this side. Okay. These are the two I want to use. This, um, sorry, Ranger, not real big fan of your embossing glue. Just saying, it's not juicy. Again, Ranger dries out does not impress me just saying i'll keep it it's got some some little bit in there but just not my favorite Ranger will probably never, never, never endorse me because I don't endorse them. That's sad. Maybe I should do two at a time, okay? And I don't care how perfect this is um, because, yeah, I just don't care. Where did I put that? Oh. Don't stick, you son of a mother.
Yeah, I made a mess, but that's okay. I don't care. Yes, I should stand up. I'll be a little bit easier because that thing is huge. That's okay, honey. You go ahead. Yeah, I'm I I'm kind of watching out for that, Eileen. Um, yeah, because I know which way I'm I'm doing the cover. Um, but thank you for the reminder. Yes. Um, So this is our, our book is going to fold. So right about, there's a good place to start. Okay. <coughs> Do one and one. I did pretty good on those. It's a little messy, but that's okay. This is a grungy cover, so it's fine. But um, I did really good. You know what? I'm going to make this one come off the, the cover a little bit. Because I'm going to be cutting this side just a little bit. So that's fine. out of my way because they're not being used. One more on there and then I'm going to emboss. Which one do I want? Oh, I kind of like this one. I kind of like that one. I kind of like them both. But embossing pads dirty. That's right. We'll have to brush it off later. These are a must have in the studio. I'm just saying.
box of it. At least that one's got sticky stuff on it. Okay. that light up. Oh, I don't know if you guys are seeing it. I'll show it to you in a minute. Looky that, looky that. Nice and pretty. Goes against that blue real nice. Yup, yup. Then, I'll let that cure now. Let the rest of this cure. I'll finish up doing the embossing all the way across. I'm gonna get two journal covers out of it. I'm gonna get one on this side, one on this side. And then, thank you, mama, have a good night. And don't go to, don't go all day without eating, woman. Um, and then when I uh, put this one, cause this will be the first cover I put on, um, I'm going to put the aged bronze around the edges. So I'll show you guys the full journal cover. And after I cut off all the edges and adhere it together, put it together and try to use the scraps. I don't really have much scraps. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's some pretty business right there. 
Yup. 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 So thank you all for coming and keeping me company, making a mess. Look at my desk. Oy. Um, yeah. So that's all I had. Um, highly endorse uh, embossing powders from Seth. Just got to say. And um, this is, again, this is the, where's the paper? This is the, um, the right paper I use to get the cloth. Um, cloth uh, like feel. I ran. Uh, wow. What are you talking about, Joycey? Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'll show you when you guys, um, this will be the first, uh, the journal that we're going to work in next. So you guys will see this and I'll show you. Um, and I'll do pictures and everything. Um, but this is the paper that's going to give you the cloth um, like a, appearance, and it's going to feel like cloth. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for coming and supporting me and keeping me company. Uh, and I'll show you, I'll put pictures on all the social medias and stuff when they're all put, when it's all put together. Um, this one, I don't, I don't, I got to get some uh, more tape to put papers together for, but at least we'll have covers now for the, for this journal and the next one prepared. Um, so thank you guys. Appreciate y'all. Oh, you want the, the, the scraps. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta finish. Yeah. go in my papers because soon I gotta rearrange this I gotta figure out some more space in this room I have got to rearrange or something because I'm running out of room just so y'all know I am running out of room yeah. <laughs> all right guys have a good night I'll see y'all later bye <laughs> have a good evening